When it comes to keeping our four-legged friends healthy, many pet owners, including yours truly, often forget about oral hygiene. Just as we brush our teeth a few times a day, our pets need to do the same. Joining us now to talk about that is Ali'i Animal Hospital and Resort. Of course, Dr. Joanna Cook, Medical Director. And who do we have here? This is Mr. Kiyoki. Good morning, Kiyoki. How are you doing? All right, when it comes to oral hygiene, what type of issues do you normally see? We do see a lot of dental disease in our patients. Up to 70% of cats and up to 80% of dogs by age 3 have some sort of dental disease, and that's a huge number. Um, we do see gingivitis and periodontal disease as one of our big oral diseases in our dogs as well as cats, and um, it's something that we need to be aware of so that we can keep them healthy, you know. Bacteria in the mouth can shed throughout the entire body, mm -hmm. affecting the brain, the liver, the kidneys, the heart. So it's something to um, obviously take note of and to manage appropriately. So what should we do as owners to keep our pets healthy? Well, the first thing and the gold standard is actually brushing your pet's teeth daily which I know can be very difficult and I know it's you know compliance from busy owners is is very difficult so alternatives that we do have are dental diet so specific diets for keeping your pets teeth clean we also have um, specific oral gels that you can apply to your pet's teeth daily so you don't actually have to brush their pets mm. your pet's teeth but applying it to their gum tissue does help control bacteria um, alternatively we have water additives and other treats that can help control the bacteria in your pet's mouth now what is this I see at some pet shops where it's like non aesthetic cleaning versus putting your four-legged friends under an and under anesthesia at a yeah. veterinary hospital yeah, so there's a huge difference. Non-anesthetic dental cleanings at the pet store are actually um, not good for your pet. Mm -hmm. It actually can be a disservice. So when you're, you take your pet to a pet store to get their teeth cleaned, they're anxious, they're nervous, they're in a new surrounding, and then trying to clean your teeth when you're nervous and anxious is really difficult. You know, the, the curette can't get up under the gum line and it can't remove the bacteria that's causing the gingivitis. And then you can't actually polish the teeth after. So you've actually scratched the enamel to remove the tartar, but you can't polish the tooth. And lastly, you can't take dental x-rays. So 60% of the tooth is under the gum line. And that's a huge part of the tooth you're missing if you're not doing anesthesia teeth cleaning. And if you're not doing that, the pet is also going through a lot of stress and they could actually get hurt. Yeah, they can. You know, we've seen where the gum tissues cut or lacerated from a curette. And um, we, we, you know, it's, it's just not good for your pet to actually do this type of cleaning. And how's Kaoki's teeth? Well, Kiyoki is going to be getting a dental cleaning with us soon, so um, he actually will get an anesthetic dental cleaning where we can look under the gum line um, with our probe, clean the bacteria that's causing the gingivitis, and take dental x-rays. So um, he will get the full mouth evaluation, and a lot of the times we do see surprises that we don't see on an awake exam when we anesthetize a patient. So we really want to treat the whole pet. All right, for more oral hygiene tips, just log on to our website at kh12.com. Thank you very much, Dr. Cook, and thank you very much, Kaoki. Thank you. <laughs> All right, don't go anywhere, folks, because we'll have more traffic and weather when Wake Up Today continues.